it's aligned. Looks to be in the right position. Don't budge. There, that should work. Now to try the door. Why would my father be here? Watch my step.
What is this place? Time to take a dive. This place is huge. Hello? Icarus! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Alexios. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible. I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century if memory serves. And yet, here I am. Standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now... Here you are. Mirini, my mother. She sent me here to find you. Mirini. She sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Alexios. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. You're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis? I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back, but... I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? 
Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. I'm preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Obstago. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said the assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, You'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Athena. Kyoshi, are you all right? Of course. After clearing out the last of her gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? What I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. It's real. I made it. Layla to Altair too? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes! By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis! How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla, think! There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Alexis to show me how he got farther inside. These pieces fit together perfectly. This must be the key.
Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! This statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. Some try to hide, 
child. Some try to cheat. But time will show we always will meet. Try as you might to guess my name. I promise you'll know when you I do claim. Death. Well done, mortal. What can run but never walks? Has a mouth but never talks? Has a head but never weeps? Has a bed but never sleeps? A river. That could be. Never resting, never still. Moving silently from hill to hill. It does not walk, run, or trot. All is cool where it is not. It's the sun. Mm, your perception is admirable. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. This place holds the answers to humankind's salvation, I'm sure of it. I know there's not much time. But I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here? and leave my mother and me in Sparta. I was never going to raise you. 
Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place, just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me? In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed, and they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. This place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Saviors, but tell me, 
Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? I am taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of this opposed law are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alethea won control of this place. Silence is preferable to empty words. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing the temple. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We each you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. Fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true. And you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, eagle bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Precursors, please listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough.
As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Fear not. Above the cloud with its shadow is the star. Calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. 